Well, that crash happened in the eastbound lanes of Highway 412 this morning in Springdale. Police were called out around 3.30. This is video of the scene. Police responded to this home here in Farmington after reports of shots fired late Thursday night. The suspect, 24-year-old Taylor Jones, taken into custody after a standoff with police that lasted nearly four hours. Well, the Fort Smith Marathon is happening this morning in just a few hours and 4029's Katie Davidson is live this morning in Fort Smith with all that's happening today. Good morning, Katie. Neighbors asked to stay inside of their homes. A few able to get out as police blocked off the neighborhood. Protesters dozens marched against the University of Arkansas's decision to suspend gender transition treatments for employees. 21 people in the hospital after police say a man ran through a crowd of people as they watched the Mardi Gras parade in New Orleans. Jennifer Crockett from our sister station there has the details from the scene of the accident. Well, it's going to be gorgeous for a little <laughs> while. Take Hardly. it while you can, everyone. That's right, that's right. We have breaking news this morning. Pope County police say that they're currently investigating a possible murder overnight. Police say that they were called to a house on Buttermilk Road for a possible domestic disturbance. When they arrived, they found a male and a female with gunshot wounds. The man was pronounced dead at the scene. The woman has been taken to a Little Rock hospital with life threatening injuries. Police say that they believe this is a possible murder suicide. And of course, 4029 will bring you the latest updates as they come in. Well, if you hear a loud explosion in the Fort Chaffee area this morning, don't worry. The Arkansas State Police is conducting a missile training exercise. 4029's Katie Davidson is live this morning in Fort Chaffee. So that road work is happening along North Greg Avenue between Lafayette and Dixon. So I've got a balloon over here and I'll go ahead and let you. And this is all in the this. name of science. This is all right, in the name guys, of science. Just so you know that. Uh, so go ahead so and touch that to the balloon. Whoop. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so we have this little girl right here who immediately started purring when I picked her up. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Well, take a look at this picture that we got from a viewer. This is a big fire, a house fire in Elkins. The fire department says that they're not responding to it. They're just going to let it burn. They say that it's an abandoned house that burns all the time. Officials say that nobody lives inside that home. Three teenagers are now in jail this morning after a 22 year old was shot and killed last weekend in Fort Smith. Police made a new arrest yesterday following the death of Caleb Watson. They arrested 16 year old Deontay Parks, who you see right there in handcuffs. All three teens are facing murder, robbery and kidnapping charges. They're being charged as adults. This next story is not for the fair weather fans. It's for those of you who want to make your love of the Razorbacks permanent. 4029's Kelly Johnson has the story. Like some perfect weather for baseball because spring is just around the corner and that means that baseball season is set to begin soon. I tell you, what, we've been having so much fun and in fact, the last 30 minutes alone have been probably the most exciting. Look at this right here. This is 25 butterball turkeys. Yeah, Fayetteville police say that they're investigating after they say that a man f died after falling from this apartment complex here. Issue six, legalizing medical marijuana passes as well as three other issues issues making it to the final ballots. They all pass as well. The homeowner says that the lightning struck this camper right here about 430 this morning. And Governor Asa Hutchinson and Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon will both attend meetings this weekend in Washington, D.C. The Bipartisan National Governors Association is hosting its winter meeting this weekend. Through this morning, police are asking for your help to find this man here. Well, back in December, Oklahoma quarterback Baker May field was here in Northwest Arkansas to receive the Burlesworth Award, but tomorrow he'll be back in Northwest Arkansas to go before a judge after an early morning arrest with more. Here's Zach rail with our sister station from Oklahoma City. Well, police say that a good Samaritan was killed trying to help a woman during a domestic assault in San Antonio. The incident happened at a Walmart parking lot. The suspect, 24 year old Taylor Jones, is now at the Washington County Jail facing multiple charges after that four hour standoff with police. 
Farmington police were called to a home on Spokane Street near Creekside Park after reported shots fired. Jones was taken into custody with the help of Fayetteville Police and Washington County Sheriff's Office. They say forced entry was used and found Jones intoxicated with weapons and drug paraphernalia. They set up a perimeter, um, ended up calling out the ERT team. Um, they ended up finally making uh, entry into the house and we have a suspect in custody. I mean, we have a park right down there. We have a school right down there. Nothing ever happens on the street. This is very bizarre. That was a neighbor who lives nearby who says that this is a usually quiet neighborhood. They say that police asked them to stay inside during the standoff. Police tell us that no one was injured during this incident. In Farmington, I'm Joshua Cole, 4029 News. Yeah, we're behind the scenes right now at the Amazium. They're showing us some of the exciting things that's going to be at Amazium on the Rocks tonight. Heat, I guess is what it's all about. That's right. uh, and uh, we were show you showed us the fire pan earlier, and now we're going to get to like hold fire. Basically, right? Yes, right. <laughs> well, we're gonna we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna we're, we're gonna use some gas here, hydrogen gas, um, and I'm gonna bubble that up through there. And if you can, just kind of just catch it, catch some in your hand, scoop it up there. So I gotta good. be careful so I don't catch my arm there on fire. Make sure there's nothing underneath. Nope. <laughs> we want to keep the knuckle hairs. And then real quickly, we'll just. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't not get it's, scared of it's that. Just it's just a little, <laughs> right? It's always just a little bit nerve wracking. Um, but you know, I mean, there's that obviously the famous, you know, Hindenburg disaster with a, you know, lighter than yeah. air vehicle that was, you know, filled with hydrogen gas. And hydrogen gas is much lighter than helium even. So I've got a balloon over here and I'll go ahead and let you. And this is all in the this. name of science. This is all right, in the name guys, of science. Just so you know that. Uh, so go ahead so and touch that to the balloon. <laughs> These are just a few of the things that people are going to get to see tonight for uh, the, a museum on the rocks, right? That's correct. So we have a whole lineup of fun things for adults who you know want to be kids for a while um, to enjoy tonight. Everything from uh, demonstration programs to we have uh, artists who use fire as their medium. We have. Um, uh, it's a demonstration show, obviously, and we have some activities that people can, can get to and you get their hands on. You definitely want to do this because this is really, really cool. Tickets are still available. There's only a few left, they said. Uh, they're running out, so you definitely want to get that online. Uh, we're live this morning in Bentonville. I'm Joshua Cole, 4029 News. So we're the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network is a grassroots organization that works to talk with lawmakers about getting legislation that fights cancer. Today, a group from Northwest Arkansas and a around the state are going to the Capitol to work with lawmakers to support patient centered and family focused palliative care and the colon cancer prevention, early detection and treatment act, as well as maintaining and enhancing the clean indoor air act here in the state. The group is leaving this morning to meet at the Capitol at one today. The group says cancer impacts nearly everybody by one degree of separation from someone you know, and that's why these issues are so important. Of course, we're really excited to be able to talk with the legislatures and to really um, have their backing and their support um, with these initiatives because it is very important. Um, everybody gets touched by cancer, so we really want them to actually understand that these initiatives are a priority. The ACS Cancer Action Network is made up of cancer survivors, patients, caregivers, and volunteers. They say that they're always looking for more people to get involved to make a change. I'm Joshua Cole, 4029 News.